It seems to me that uh, avionics and flight control technology is sort of like a snowball rolling down a hill. It's just coming, getting bigger and faster at, and, uh, as time goes on and happening all very quickly. And synthetic vision, highway in the sky, has been kicking around for a while, actually maybe a couple of decades in one form or another, but it's only been very recently that we've really seen it show up in mass in our, in our general aviation cockpits. Garmin, of course, has played a big role, um, particularly in the last year or so, bringing that to virtually every new cockpit in general aviation today. So, Bill, tell me a little bit how we got there. Where did this synthetic vision technology come from? How does it work, and what's next? Well, Tom, you know, as, as pilots, we're taught skills to, uh, to take data in the cockpit, looking at, at various indicators and gauges in the cockpit, assimilating that data and creating a, a mental picture of our surroundings and, and the state and, and uh, you know, what's going on around the aircraft. We as human beings think uh, most efficiently if, if the input is visual. So we create this mental picture and we consider this to be a skill but everybody knows the axiom, one peak at the ground is worth a thousand cross checks. So. <laughs> Tell me about the database that's behind that thing. How's that work and where'd it come from? You know, the concepts of synthetic vision, they weren't even called synthetic vision when it started. It was perspective vision, but the, the basic concept has remained constant since the 50s. The U.S. military, the NASA, the FAA have, have uh, done a lot of research in this regard for 50 years now. Things that uh, were, were sorely lacking to make this reality were uh, computers with the necessary capabilities to, to take this data and render it into uh, what we just saw here. Uh, in the 50s when they first thought of perspective vision, a Univac computer weighed 4,000 pounds, cost a million dollars, and, and could, uh, could calculate about 5,000 instructions per second. The synthetic vision that we just saw is processing tens of millions of instructions per, per second. So, Really, the technology was way behind the ideas. Um, beyond computing power, uh, the database that you speak of, to have high resolution uh, topographic terrain database for the planet right. um, didn't exist either. You know, some of the very first concepts of synthetic vision were stereo lithography, actual photographs. Um, that they would try to georeference to, to give some type of visual rendition of the surrounding terrain around the aircraft. So in February of 2000, Space Shuttle Endeavor uh, took a, an 11-day mission, the SRTM mission, the Shuttle Radar Topography Mapping Mission, and uh, mapped the planet Earth to very high accuracy. Four or five years later, that data became uh, public domain so that developers like Garmin and Rockwell Collins and Honeywell and others could utilize that data uh, to fulfill the dream of perspective vision or synthetic mm -hmm. vision. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com.